All right, guys, I don't know if this is rare or not. I seem to be wanting to comment on the rareness of everything. So I'd, I don't know. I have seen one other one of these. It is a kitty ride. It's uh, a little US rocket. And it's kind of a cute little thing. It's got one little seat in it. You might be able to squeeze two toddlers in there, but it's probably made for one. It's in really good shape, cosmetically. Man, the thing is just about immaculate. It's a top quality piece. This isn't some junk Chinese thing. Um, I think actually these were made in, in England, to be honest. Um, I think it's made by a company that has, oh shoot. I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description. But I recognized the electronics for it when I opened it up as a matching one of, that did come from England. So here, you, the electronic box that controls this is behind this little access panel here. It's right here. And I, <clears throat> I recognize that. I've got another one that's like a sweet shop or something. And it has that same controller in it. Jolly Roger, I want to say, was like the name of the company, maybe. I don't know. That's what sticks in my head. But at any rate, this one at some point was owned by some big arcade chain because they took out the coin mech. There's supposed to be a coin mech right here. And they took the coin door and drilled holes in it and they had one of those card readers on it. Well, I don't do card reader stuff, so I just ran the wires out here to a button. You press this twice and it starts. Do I have it plugged in? Maybe it's three times. Oh, no, it's twice. It just takes a second for it to kick in. And then it starts turning and bashes you in the head while you're sticking your head in there. It's got like a weird little cartoony thing that plays on that screen. The joysticks are hooked up to wires in there, but I don't know what they're supposed to do. I, I think that they're supposed to make it make different sound effects. And there is a speaker up there that's... Uh, not making any sound. I know when I first tried this like 10 years ago when I bought it, it did make sound, so something probably just came disconnected. Um, and I was going to use this for my own place, but you know, you've heard me say the story a million times. I've just got too much stuff. I've got to get rid of stuff. I don't really need this thing. So anyway, here's what it looks like when it's in operation. It's kind of odd because I think in real life rockets don't spin, you know, in a radial fashion, although they do probably while they're flying, but I think it's more of an up and down thing. But anyway, it's a cute looking thing. It's very patriotic. If you're a patriotic person, um, I can't think of anything more patriotic in this auction than a rocket with our country's initials on it um, and it, it looks like it either was kept in really good shape or it was restored because it's just really really nice condition wise so perfect for your rec room your garage your basement your actually now this is something that could be operated outside so put it in your backyard and let your kids and the neighbors play on it. That's it.